In time, an elementary school in Oceanside may be closing at the end of the year for safety reasons. Yeah, the school is set to be rebuilt when some mandatory testing found that the soil isn't stable enough. Parents are now having their voices heard. And Fox 5's Alani Latang live for us outside the school with what they have to say. Hi, Alani. Hi, Andrew Misha. We're here at Reynolds Elementary School, and the district did say that the ground here is like water. It's liquid, and so it shouldn't support a rebuild. But parents say this building has been here long enough, since 1986, without any major safety issues, and they really hope that the board can hear them out on that. Us as parents, we are going to fight. We need to save this school. Parents on a mission to keep Reynolds Elementary School from possibly closing permanently at the end of the school year due to safety. The reason for safety is pretty convenient. This has been part of their agenda. I want the board to hear our voices. I want the board to, to hear us and to, um, to understand. The Oceanside Unified School District says with bond money, they had planned to rebuild Reynolds Elementary. A mandatory soil testing found soil liquefaction, which causes the ground to behave like liquid. The district says they plan to recommend to the school board to not build on the land and to close the school for good. Parents say they have questions. Oh, we needed answers yesterday for sure. Don't just come and say, oh, we're closing the school with no solution. That's what we want to hear. We don't have enough information. I want more information is really what it comes down to. The district claims modifications won't guarantee safety during an earthquake. The district says the building is structurally sound enough to finish the school year, adding having to transfer for more than 500 students and staff is too disruptive at this time. I mean, the buildings are still standing. With this lack of transparency, I, I'm being told one thing, but their actions aren't really showing me that they have that concern. Parents concerned about students that walk or bike and might have to do so further. Why are we not concerned about that safety? It's going to be hard on us. It's going to be hard on, um, we live walking distance away. We have a whole community here that we walk to school with that play in my front yard every day after school. And that is what's being taken away. I have to do everything that's best for my family and their education and what works for us and staying with Oceanside Unified School District doesn't seem like that's going to be the mm. right the right spot for my family. Really? Unfortunately. Because they're going to close the school or? Because of how they've handled the closure, because of the safety situation, how they've handled the issues with safety. Um, I They've lost some of my trust. If the school does close, the district says no staff will lose their job and they'll transfer to other parts of the district, other schools in the district, I should say. And there is a meeting coming up on March 13th to discuss um, this possible closure where parents are expected to voice their concerns to the board. For now, we're live in Oceanside. I'm Alani Latang, Fox 5 News. Could be a big change for a lot of folks there. All right, Alani, thank you.